We are the Group B and this is our week 2 video tutorial for our Emerging Technology class. So this tutorial will teach us how to create a based 3 tier architecture using JSP. So to start with, open your NetBeans IDE. So in our case, we use the latest version of NetBeans, which is the 7.0 version. So now, let's create a new project, Java Web Application, click Next. You may change the project name, so we change it into Group 2. You may also browse for the location of your project, and now, you may click on Next. We have here the Glassfish Server 3.1, and now click on Finish. So let us try run the project. So as so we used Google Chrome as our browser, so it gives us Hello World output. Let's go back to our IDE, so you can edit or you can add information of your own choice. So here we added IT170 Emerging Technology, Week 2 Video Tutorial, and Align Center. Let's go back to our browser, refresh, and then we'll have this. Let's go back to our IP. Now, we are going to create a new servlet. So, we named it My Servlet and the package. So click on Finish. After clicking Finish, it will as this. So, we removed some unnecessary codes. Save the project. Go back to our IDE and then refresh. So we added the My Servlet, which is the URL pattern. Let us go back to our browser, or IDE rather, and we added some HTML codes. Save the project, go back to your browser, and refresh. And go back to our IDE. So now we are going to create a new entity classes from database. Under the data source, we are going to click new data source. So JNDI name is my database. Under the database connection, new database connection. So our driver will be my SQL connector slash J driver. Click on next and you'll have this. Then click on next. So earlier we have already created our database. Our database name is student. Test the connection. If the connection succeeded, you may now click on Next. After clicking Next, you may now click on OK. And it will give us this. So add, and then Next, and then finally Finish. So we have this now. To get rid of these errors, we are just going sim. We are just going to add import import for persistence unit and same as through with the EMF. And because our is an error, we are just going to add an import for TBL student. Let's go back to our browser, refresh, and then we have here the table containing ID, last name, first name, and all the data on our database. Let's go back to our IDE, and this code will give us the word sort by in our web page. For us to be able to sort or to add a, ta a table in our web page, just simply copy the code, paste it under the private void sort ID and then to get rid of those errors we're just going to copy print writer and then add throws save the project go back to our browser refresh the page and we'll have this so same as through with our last name and our first name just simply copy the codes, let us go back to our browser. So if you're going to click on the ID, it was the table sorted by ID. Let's go back to our browser. So 
So for us to be able to, to sort the data on our table, just simply copy the code under the ID, go back to our browser, reload the page, and we'll have this. So we have here the link to sort our data by ID, by last name, and by first name. Let's go back to our IDE. So we have this. If you're going to click on first name, it will give us an output of this. Let's go back to our IDE. So this code will let us add a button on our web, web main web page. So our button is named view list. Let's go back to our browser, reload the page, and then we have this. If you're going to click view list button, we will have this. So as you can see, this tutorial sorted the members of group B with last name, ID, and the first name. So that is how to create a web-based free tire architecture using JSP. Thank you.